about parenting um i think um first of all we are as we are and uh, the way we feel we speak with the uh, other people and the same with our children and um you you can feel the way you're comfortable to speak with your children you can be very um, strong parent or you can be very friendly and easygoing my way is second one i try to be easygoing of course i try to um, make some shelter to organize all the life and studying but um, i think that you can be a friend to uh, to your children even if they are little uh, I think it's more easy way to build uh, good relations and if your um, children will trust you if they feeling okay not like um, not like they afraid you because you are a strong parent and they will afraid to share with you some information anyway they do anyway uh, for example uh, my daughter broke brought her phone uh, not far away and uh, she came home and she was crying and she was upset about this and i decided not to scream or to punish her because she already was afraid about this situation and uh, I think better to be flexible and loyal uh, in a lot of situations. And then, um, instead, your children will trust you and will share everything with you and they will respect your opinion. They will afraid to lose your friendly um, relations, warm relations with you. Okay, if you um, want to, to speak about technique, some technique, uh, for example, I don't know some other technique which I use, uh, for example, like somebody's rules. I have my own rules and uh, my lifestyle and uh, as I feel comfortable, I try to build the same in my family. For example, I have a friend, it's my close friend, and she has a real shelter by ours. She, um, she has people who help you with the children and she has a shelter, time of, uh, when, when uh, they need to go outside, time when they need to go to sleep. It's comfortable for their family. It depends on which lifestyle are you lead in general, uh, all the members of the family. But it's not bad. Um, it's not bad to have a shelter. How do you develop daily daily routine activities for them to grow their self esteem uh, for you? Okay, um, in, in our previous life, uh, we have a little different uh, lifestyle because our life was um, built in some ways. So um, we have nowadays a lot of um, some um, places when you can develop children with uh, some professional teachers in different ways. It can be art, it can be dancing, it can be IT academy, it can be English classes, a lot of things. Uh, yoga classes also. Uh, I told all the uh, things, all the uh, groups which we visited with my children. So um, I had a strong shelter actually. <laughs> And yeah, I need I need to organize everything and to um, to take my children to all the uh, groups for all the lessons. And uh, it's good nowadays because they don't have uh, too much free time uh, to stay in their laptops or phones, and uh, they can develop. And uh, I think uh, education good in every. Um, volume we can organize for for them for children time out on otv um yeah you know tv and uh, all the devices nowadays is is a big problem because when your child uh use the phone or the laptop all the time and doesn't go outside uh, he will not be healthy. Uh, we need to help our people nowadays uh, to lead a healthy lifestyle, to, to keep active. And um, at the same moment, we, we need to control their content. Of course, it's a very important part of uh, our modern uh, life to use devices, phones and TVs. But you to need to control the content it's very important because it's part um, of their building how um, how they will grow uh, up and 
what they will keep on their minds uh, because we have a lot of trends nowadays uh, in I don't know, in such platforms as YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, a lot of even stupid things which you need just to control and not, and not let your children uh, to watch this uh, stupid content. And um, yeah, and, and you can uh, regulate with uh, these devices um, and make like a punishment uh, to stop or to organize some time for for your children and uh, you can at the same time uh, try to uh, organize your home life and home deals and uh, for example you can say to your children that uh, you will have free time for cartoons or for some devices only after you will help me with with this in ukraine is popular when you try to organize uh, your children to help uh, from young age uh, to help about the house, I mean, and uh, it doesn't mean that I can clean can't clean something. I can, but uh, it's um, the way you speak with your children and the way they um, build in a right way. They understand from the beginning, from the childhood, that they need to keep clean. They need to help. They need to respect uh, grown people. Do they have home economics for girls in school? Uh, they teach cooking and sewing and crafts for home. Unfortunately, uh, in Ukraine, we don't have such lessons at school. We have just uh, sewing, um, maybe in the middle school, not uh, at the beginning. Uh, but it would be nice, uh, actually, if uh, at school, we will have in our program how to teach home economics to a girls and in general a lot of such uh, lessons um, i think school program is not complete and we have some um, things that we will never use in our um, life when, when we will grow and uh, some lessons yeah uh, they they missed in their program but I'm not a minister, I can't make any influence for this, uh, but it would be nice, really. Uh, crafts for home also, no, but uh, yeah, nowadays we have a lot of uh, private schools when you can develop all the things you want to develop uh, in your children or in you, actually. Uh, a lot of things when you can do some hobbies, uh, to create something, to learn a lot. It's very popular in Ukraine nowadays. We have a lot of private schools uh, and you can teach you or your children anything you want. At their early age now, do you develop certain activities for them so they slowly develop their inspiration in education and future career towards adult life yes yes i can say that uh, i think uh, it should be and uh, we need to uh, to develop all the qualities from the childhood um, it was my example in my uh, childhood i always need to help to my mom and uh, it was normally for our family and she taught me from the young age how to do everything and uh, I think it should be for girls for sure and also for boys but maybe a little different um, habits and also in Ukraine for example I teach and my daughter how to cook <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's important for our cu culture and uh, my daughter can uh, bake muffins, for example, <laughs> or some little cakes already. Yeah, it, it's interesting process together, by the way. And uh, also you can have a nice time uh, spent together. About future career, um, 
you can you can speak and you can show you um, some professions of modern life and you can explore some interests uh, your children has and help them to create the, these interests and to develop them we have auto mechanics uh, metal and woodworking classes at school, do you, Bill, do you mean at school or do you mean uh, like uh, private school when you can uh, vi visit uh, these lessons partly several times a week, by your wish? I think we also have, uh, for, for boys and for girls, we have different uh, lessons at the, at the middle school when uh, girls um, teaching how to cook, how to sew, and uh, yeah, boys uh, teaching how to do metal and wood working. Yes. Maybe you can give me some feedback. Uh, do you think father should uh, spend the same time as uh, mom or um, your, your culture um, think that you can build uh, money, realize yourself, your career and just came home after work and maybe spend some time together with the family or you actually uh, try to to spend time and uh, to develop some uh, with your children some qualities in ukraine we have uh, both variants actually nowadays and uh, modern fathers can uh, some of them working a lot and hard and can be at home only in the evening, can work at the weekends uh, and don't have enough time, free time for um, lead the family. And uh, some fathers are maybe the same or even sometimes better than mother and can visit all the classes and school and uh, go to the park so for some entertainments with the whole family so depend on the family in general ukrainian children development now uh, do the family have tendency to encourage the children to be independent especially for the girls compare to previous 10 or 15 years ago uh, 10 or 15 years, 15 years ago was not um, too big difference, but it's very big different uh, difference between maybe 50 years ago. 50 years ago, a lot of people in Ukraine in Ukraine lived uh, in in the villages, and uh, uh, we Ukrainian women uh, women used to be housewives and uh, they had to grow children, keep the house, and uh, they can't realize their themselves at career or to visit some uh, hobbies, uh, some classes, to spend time for for themselves. They had too much homework. And nowadays, yes, uh, women can realize their self anyway. And your hobby can be your business or you can um, stay at home, you can work, you, you have a lot of possibilities right now. In normal school they have their these classes uh, partly in Ukraine I had at my school uh, ages and uh, they still have have at middle school uh, both parents should be involved with children okay yes great Uh, it would be perfect if both of parents uh, have such possibilities, uh, but sometimes, yes, it happens that a uh, father, a man, he's working hard and uh, doesn't have enough time to spend a really good time. Uh, for example, I know my friends, families, uh, which have uh, such, which has such situation and uh, um, it's a little problem because uh, for example, I have a friend and uh, her daughter, she doesn't uh, feel uh, very close with uh, her father because he all the time on the work, uh, at work.
I even played with the Barbie dolls <laughs> with girls and make tea parties. It's super actually because um, support of father when he can be like a, like a prince for uh, his daughter it's uh, actually great because uh, I think every girl uh, she um, she understand herself from her uh, first family from uh, her t uh, tender father for example it's very important for girls especially for girls when her father spends some time with her and uh, to play with the barbie and make a tea <laughs> parties is actually great because i think uh, in this way girl will feel herself really happy with boys toys cars and teaching sports yes boys like uh, cars and robots <laughs> But anyway, they need attention as well. For my opinion of your questions, I prefer the father have equal responsibility and time allocate for children and each other. Mm, okay, thank you for your response. Hello, John. After listening to you, I think my parents doesn't love me at all. <laughs> I think it's a joke. <laughs> because uh, our childhood um, had di different situation maybe. Nowadays everything is more um, modern and we have to um, treat the children more carefully, I think. We have... Uh, too much difference between nowadays and maybe uh, 30 or 40 or 50 years ago times. So we we need to be flexible to, for, for modern life. And modern life okay. is, uh, as I told before, uh, is uh, devices, uh, internet. Uh, for example, in my childhood, when I was a child, I didn't have internet, I had only TV. And uh, cartoons were just some period, just partly uh, during the day. But uh, nowadays, um, we have uncontrolled information around our children, actually. Uh, and uh, our children maybe become a little more spoiled because we have marketing everywhere about uh, modern toys. Um, they become, um, they try to make it fashion, fashion style. And even little girls and boys, they uh, can be naughty. They can uh, try to be fashion uh, nowadays. In in my childhood, it wasn't 